Now this is the AlphaWise T1, a very cheap mini PC with the very new Gemini Lake N4100 processor with 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of ROM, and it costs about $189 on sale right now. So let's unbox this thing and see what we got. All right, so let's get on with the unboxing uh, for this PC. And here we see we have a couple of things. Here we have a user manual for the ACE PC T1. It is in English. Well, it's a multi-language, which is nice. So I'll put that aside. Mini PC system activation instructions. I'm not sure what this is, but interesting. Oh, I see. This one is already activated, but there's instructions to activate it. Okay. And finally, this is the PC itself. Let's put that aside for now and look at what else we have inside the box. And here we have a mount. We also have a plug, which is sadly a Chinese plug. We have a couple of screws for the mount. And finally, here we have a HDMI cable and then another HDMI cable. So two HDMI cables. So let's put all, stuff, all this stuff aside and look at the actual box itself. So one thing before we go on, we move on to the actual thing itself. I like the design on the box of the mini PC just because it really resembles um, Intel's um, kind of set and stuff. So it looks nice. But moving on to the actual TV box or sorry, the mini PC itself, it's plastic. It doesn't feel like it's very high quality plastic, but you don't, you don't really need it to be. Um, the thing is, I like the design on top of this as well with the, you know, with the circuit and stuff like that. It does seem a little bit dirty, like a lot of dust on this also. Anyway, here you have the AlphaWise logo on the front. You have the Gemini Lake at the side. And flipping it around here, we have two, uh, four rubber feet. And here we have two screws to take out so that we can put in a new SSD or a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive also. And here on the front here, we have the power button. It's red and it's fairly clicky. We have a light indicator. We have a micro SD card slot. We have two USB-C slots, or sorry, USB-3 slots. We have a USB-C slot, as well as what I suspect here is a microphone jack, or sorry, not a microphone jack, a microphone pinhole. And on the other side, here we have a headphone jack. We have two USBs, a LAN port, two HDMI ports, a DC in as well, as, is that a Kensington? It is a Kensington laptop slot. So interesting. That means you can, you know, lock this down and make sure no one steals it. Although I'm not sure, most of you will be using this in your house, right? So I'm not sure if anyone will actually steal it, but it's nice that they have included that here. And here, let's take out the screws and see what we have inside. So either I'm dumb or this has really bad design because even after undoing these screws, it's kind of hard to take this cover off. So we'll see. All right, so that was actually more difficult to take out than I thought. But anyway, taking out this cover here, you can see that this is a slot for a 2.5 inch um, hard drive or an SSD. And again, as you can see that right there, here, I'm gonna put my hand away, that is a connector over there. So it looks pretty simple to you know install an extra hard drive or SSD as a media center for this uh, mini PC. All right, that was a quick unboxing and overview of the Alpha Wise T1 new Gemini Lake Mini PC. I will have a review of this uh, device coming up very, very soon. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that little notification bell to make sure you're notified of any of the latest videos that come out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.